We're looking at a piece called Playful Puppy by Linda Nyamath. So, um, this piece is in the key of D major, so F and C are both sharp. So we take a look at the left hand pattern. Uh, it's got a pattern that goes D by itself and then the F sharp and the A together. Like that. So we've got a nice crisp staccato first on the D and then on the F sharp and the A. And then the D to the G and the A. Back into the original pattern. times so the, the first measure is the D to the F sharp A and then the D to the G and the A and then back so you want to get really comfortable with that pattern that's the left hand part the right hand part is starting also in a D flat finger pattern we go D up a step to the F sharp, skipping up to the A and coming back down that fourth to the E. On our rhythm, we rest on the first beat and then we have one, two, and three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four, one, two, three, four. I'm gonna show it to you again. So D up by step to the F sharp, skipping up to the A and then down the fourth to the E. One, two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. Notice the accent on the E and uh, the slurs to the staccato. The hands work together. The left hand has the first beat with the D. So that's how they work together. So the left hand's by itself first, and then they're together when the right hand has the D, and then they're together with the F sharp and the right and the D on the left, and then that's the first four bars. You might want to stop the video now and work on those. So this is now starting from uh, measure five. Measure five, the left hand now moves into whole notes. So it's got a D major chord as a whole note. Two, three, four. And then we play the D, the E, the G, and the A all together, all four of those notes. So those two chords, the D major one, and then the D, E, G, and A. That's what the left hand is doing. The right hand starts off very similar to what it did in the very beginning, and that we start on our D, and we go up by step to our F sharp. And we're gonna play the A, but we're gonna jump so that finger two goes to that A. That. That's so that we can get to this D up here. Okay, so we have one, two, and three, four, one. Okay, after we play this D, we repeat the D and go back down a fourth to the A and then back to the D. whole passage together. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. And again, one, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. Okay. 
forte, and that happens twice in this piece, first note, so forte and then piano. So the left hand comes in first with its D chord, one, two, and three, four, and then to, when we're up on that D, that's when we switch the chord in the left hand back to the D chord. I'll show it to you one more time. So left hand has our D chord. Two and three, four. Okay, so that takes us to measure eight. Uh, and now we're going to look at measure nine. And the beginning of measure 10. So uh, measure nine starts off just the same way at the, we've been starting with the D chord and the stepping up. And we go to the A again, but this time we're not moving. We're just gonna put finger five there. So D chord. And then we play an A in the left hand and an F sharp in the right at the same time. So that whole new passage together is this D chord, two, three, four, one. So that's different than what you're used to. I'll show it to you one more time. Left hand play. Okay. So um, you might want to stop the tape again at this point and just... Uh, really get, make sure you're comfortable with everything. And so, uh, and then we start out for this part, which is the final section of the piece. So we were here when we stopped on this F sharp on this A, and we're gonna switch hand, we're gonna move. So the left hand is gonna move to this seventh from A to G. So it was on the A up here, and then we go to this seventh from the A to the G, and the right hand plays this fourth on top um, from with F sharp and C sharp, using five and two. Okay, so we were here, and then we're here. resolve to a, our D major chord. Our thumb comes under to this D and, and then on the left hand, um, finger two is already covering the D in the left hand and the thumb is going to move down from the C up to this F sharp. Okay, like this. So we're here and then we're here. So the very final bit is the tail wagging bit. So we move down a little bit lower. So here's our middle C. We were mostly above middle C. And here we're below middle C. We're gonna have an A and an F sharp in the left hand. Like that. And then it jumps down to this low D which is off the screen. It's not the very bottom D on the piano, but almost. It's the next one up from the very bottom. And the right hand tail wagging is F sharp to D. Okay, and when you're comfortable with both of those, you put them together. One more time. And there you have Playful Puppy.